and uh, and part time I do the financial uh, insurance thing. Yeah. Great. Yes. And do you have any future plans or for the future? I know you probably have an, a goal of something you want to do in the United States. Is there? Yeah. So I want to become a teacher. Oh, okay. And then I want to teach in math or Chinese. Nice. Well, one thing that women are always interested in is clothing, and uh, you both got beautiful dresses on today. Maybe you could Thank tell you. us a little bit about what you're wearing and maybe some of the colors and some of the meanings that are behind what you have on. Um, we can start with your beautiful red dress. Thank you. Um, actually, in China, we call this the qi pao. Um, that's, if you see this one, everybody know what you mean. Uh, it's made from the uh, bouquet, and um, um, this they have the different colors and over three three kind of color and put it together and make it. Mm -hmm. uh, we wear this one most time right now in the weddings mm -hmm. and uh, Chinese festival mm -hmm. and all oh, any holiday and uh, celebration and you love to uh, just formally dress up and you wear it. Um, people choose different color depending on your skin colors yeah. and your, yeah, your, what's your favorite color. Do the colors mean anything or is it just what you like, your preference? Well, yeah. what I think, it is mean something mm. because when you have the wedding, we normally, traditionally, we use the red. Yes. Yeah. The bride wears red? Yes, yeah. definitely, oh, okay. because that is the celebration, it's lucky and, you know. Happiness? Yes, mm -hmm. and we don't wear white, and so we wear the red. Mm. The black one, I think, is more former, you know, when you go to the, like, a cocktail or something, yeah. you know, b banquet, a Would party. your dress be like a cocktail dress, too? Um, if you say about the color, it might be nice to go to the evening, but daily life, you can pick the color. Like black, blue, white, mm -hmm. red, depends yeah. on the color match your skin tone. Mm -hmm. And also, like she mentioned about the different meaning, so the red will be a popular color. Mm -hmm. And if you have a wedding, you definitely have to pick the red. Yes. And what about a funeral? Do you wear different colors? White. White, white for mm -hmm. funerals? Yes. That's the opposite that we yes. have. Yes. So. Yeah. Why? Sometimes you have a little white flower on top of your hair. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then it's like a. What does that sunflower. symbolize? The white. Um, it's kind of like a death and mm -hmm. uh, white. It's not really have similar about the um, purity, but mm -hmm. it's kind of the uh, silent. Yes, silent. Cold, cold. Uh, because of death. Mm -hmm. You know, so okay. we use a white. And what about the symbols that you have? Like I see most of you have flowers, but mm -hmm. there's some dragons, I think, and yeah. a phoenix yeah. on there. Definitely, and uh, because in China, uh, the main emperors uh, is represented the dragon, mm. the uh -huh. ladies the uh, phoenix, yes. and uh, uh. because men's on top <laughs> and it's a leader <laughs> boss, so they was normally get <laughs> the phoenix <laughs> on the bottom, and so you know they have those kind of the uh, symbol, but uh, basically is um, when you when you have the wedding and mm -hmm. you have both. Yes, you know, oh, okay. it's like, it's like a women. pair, you know. A pair. Yeah, yeah. But you can see the women supporting the men. Ah, yes, yes of course, of yes. course. <laughs> yes. And you mentioned about the flowers because women, women are beautiful, intelligent, so it's beautiful as the flowers. And I noticed you're holding something that would you would put in your hair. Can you yeah. tell us about those? Yeah, this is a hair piece, and it's really pretty. Um, normally, when we dress up. Mm. And you put hair up, and you put on your hair, and like this one, yeah. I put it. Mm -hmm. Decorate it. Yeah, and decorate it. And they have different, they have flower, butterfly, mm -hmm. and like and something, she got this one. Simply very delicate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're beautiful. Um, you, I know you. that there are about 56 different ethnicities in in China, mm -hmm. and do the different um, ethnic groups wear different clothing than what you have on, or is it all the same? They wear their own traditional one. You can mm -hmm. tell by their style mm -hmm. and also the colors. They have their special hair dressing too. Okay. And the jewelry tells a lot where do they come from. Yes. So you can tell which region a person comes from by the clothing they have on. Mm -hmm. Basically, but because right now and uh, in a normal day life, we don't always dress up as right. traditional. Mm. So and uh, you can't tell until you get the uh, holidays, something, the celebration, mm. their special thing. So they dress up, you can tell. 
So That's most right. of the time, um, women and men just wear Western, what we would call Western clothing? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Very casual? Yes. yes. Casual. Mm -hmm. and yeah. yeah, jeans, yeah. Uh -huh. But you, you also need to wear some professional, like a suit yes. or a browse or go to like a mm -hmm. business. So for work, what would you wear? Are pants acceptable? Yeah. Yeah? It's it depends on what kind of job you do. That's right. Yeah. At office, we always wear a shoot, suit. The mm -hmm. woman wear the maybe two piece, one piece skirt and mm -hmm. all something. Men always have the you know tie mm -hmm. suit, yeah, mm -hmm. office. But the factory they have the special uniform. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, it seems like both of you have really adjusted to living here in the United States. But I know that you miss your country back home. So what do you miss, and what do you just um, think about your country for a minute, and just share with us what you miss about your country everything and <laughs> I go first okay yes. and I think uh, mostly I miss is about the food <laughs> of course we don't count it, you know family and uh, we miss so much uh, I love the food over there and uh, especially this a few years and I just when I think of the food I eat when I was a child I just want it right now you know last year that's why I went back to China and visit them, eat everything, gain a lot of the weight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, definitely. And what do you miss about your home? I agree with her. I miss a lot of food. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and also I miss so many things in my life because I spent about 26 years in China. So I have my friendship there. Mm -hmm. I have my family there. Even though I creating my new family here, I still miss the old time. But I'm so, so proud to tell you because I have the experience living in China. So I learned a lot and based on the skills I have, it made me much more stronger to come to a new country. And then mm -hmm. I made friends, I cook new food, and then I watch new movie and then give me another chance to tell my friends in China what the outside world is. This. So I think this is a very great idea for Edison students. They have a mm -hmm. chance to go to China to see. And then I wish anything there, they will experience something different, they will bring home and then they can share with the family. China is a great country, China is fun, mm -hmm. and they enjoy the food, and then they tell me everything they like. Well, I can't wait to go see it. And I wanna thank you both because I've learned so much just by talking with you today about your culture, your clothes, your homes, and what you miss about your country. Thank you very much. You're, You're welcome. welcome. And tell me, tell me goodbye in Chinese. <laughs> you will be definitely enjoying the trip. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes. yes and definitely. you will miss the food. <laughs> yes. We've provided some insights into Chinese culture by exploring the Tang Dynasty, Chinese cuisine, the rituals of Tai Chi, music by Chinese composers, and Chinese Americans discussing the clothing and customs of their homeland. Tune in for our next segment, which will feature Chinese film exportation to international markets and the importance of acknowledging the role of China in the global marketplace, especially in the area of business decisions.